And I wonder if you ever wonder what happens to all of those electronic goods that you're done with and toss away, or e-waste as it's known. That uh, consists of everything from scrap TVs, PCs and cell phones to refrigerators and air conditioners. And a growing number of states in the U.S. are now banning the disposal of e-waste in landfills. That means that e-waste recycling is an industry poised for massive growth. It's unclear how much of the valuable but toxic e-waste materials are actually recycled and where they actually end up. Mary McCarthy explores. Unloading unwanted TVs and computers at an e-waste recycling event in Denver. People who live here must now comply with a new state law banning the disposal of these electronics in their trash. Instead, they must arrange for their old gadgets to be recycled. While e-waste recycling firms can recover some of the raw materials, it's a risky process. The glass is coated with something called phosphors and contains lead. Lead is a known carcinogen. It can be, it, it's toxic on many levels. E-waste recycling is a fledgling industry that to a certain degree self-regulates. Recyclers are encouraged but not required to get industry certification from an organization like R2 Solutions. There are about 60 requirements in it and they have to do with environment, health, safety, data security, um, and businesses, recyclers can voluntarily decide that they want to become certified. Public campaigns encourage Americans to use only certified e-waste recyclers as it's believed that many uncertified firms illegally dump toxic materials abroad, like Colorado-based Executive Recycling, whose CEO was recently sentenced to jail and a $4.5 million fine for illegal overseas dumping. Responsible e-waste recycling is costly and time-consuming, and there are doubts that even the certified recyclers are always following the rules. Of the companies that have gotten certified, a certain percentage of them are not abiding by the terms of their certification. Experts seem to agree that e-waste recycling is still under-regulated, but they're optimistic about the growing number of companies strictly adhering to environmental and health standards while also turning a profit. E-waste recycling is an industry with many regulatory challenges but a potentially lucrative future, estimated to be worth nearly $15 billion worldwide by the end of 2014. Mary McCarthy, CCTV, Denver.